Hello everyone, how are you doing? I just wanted to welcome you to Beard Guy Beer Reviews. Uh, my name is Sean and I'll be reviewing a good number of beers over the next couple of months. Um, so to tell you a little bit about myself, in my younger years, you know, I drink beer a lot. I love beer. I uh, usually did it um, just because I wanted to get drunk, honestly. Um, you know, plus it was kind of a family thing. Um, Kind of something I got into pretty young. My brothers, uh, my fathers, they all drink, so it kind of naturally came down to me. But as I get older now, uh, I start to appreciate beer for what it is. It's not just something to get drunk, it's something to taste, it's something to enjoy. Uh, and so that's why I kind of wanted to start this. I don't know a lot about beers, I'm definitely not an aficionado, um, but I wanted to learn more, and so this is sort of my path to doing so. And I thought while I was doing that, I might as well help out some other people who might be interested in some kind of unknown beers around the world. Now, just to warn you, I'm definitely not going to be reviewing beers like Bud Light, um, Budweiser, pretty much uh, any North American beer that you can readily get in any 7-Eleven or convenience store. Um, now, that doesn't include now some specialty microbrews in North America, because there are plenty of them. There are a lot of really great ones. Um, but everybody can go out and buy a Corona, so uh, you're not going to see me uh, go ahead and reviewing that here on this channel. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take us some beers. Uh, I'm just going to go to pretty much my local BevMo or uh, any other specialty stores around here pretty much once a week or maybe even twice, three times a week, depending on uh, how much time I have. I'm going to go out, pick a couple beers uh, that I've never tried before, and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to uh, review them and drink them uh, straight uh, on this channel. So, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. If I don't like the beer, I'm going to tell you I don't like the beer. Yeah, if the beer tastes like piss, the beer tastes like piss. There, that's all there is to it. Um, if it's a great beer though, then I'll recommend it. And I'm pretty much going to rank everything out uh, from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst beer ever, uh, 10 being God's piss because I can't imagine a beer being anything uh, a 10. I mean, 10's got to be amazing, okay? I mean, it just has to be the best beer I've ever tasted in my entire life. And if that happens, there's no reason for me to keep on going with this because then I just found the beer I'm going to drink for the rest of my life. Um, so let's hope that doesn't happen too soon. Uh, I want to get through at least a good couple of countries before I, maybe I hit 10. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope uh, it, it helps you out a little bit. And definitely if you have any questions, you can always email me, leave comments. Uh, if there's a beer that you've always been wanting to try but you never, you're too, too afraid to try it, uh, let me know. And I'll definitely go out and pick it up and, and bring it back and do a review for you. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, I hope you enjoy your beer.